Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for some X4 Foundations, Cradle of Humanity. I'm Lambda Space, your host, and we are there for another State of the Empire, and a very short one for that one. There is nothing new. Uh, in fact, I barely played since the past weekend, so the game uh, hasn't evolved much. The ladies on Ministry of Finance are still doing uh, their thing. I still have to figure what it is exactly. They have built a lot of trade ships, but uh, I don't. They don't seem in a hurry to to rebuild uh, their factories uh, in their sectors. They are just moving around, doing some trade. Uh, I don't know what they are doing, so I don't know what the the Tiladi are doing for now. For the Peronids, well, they are still happily killing each other uh, in Pyos Mist too, so I can't complain about that. As you can see, they are very active. <laughs> Until they pay the bill, I don't care. <laughs> and for the Argon Antigone, um, well, they are alive. Now, what are they doing? I don't know. Uh, as for that one, they have a this uh, Asgard, a yeah, new Asgard there. Well, they, they have an Asgard, then they send just one a couple of ships. Uh, oh, that one, they have some... Oh, I may jump there just to watch the fight. Let's do that while we are doing another thing. Let's jump there. Take that one. We'll have that as background while we talk. Whoops. Sorry. Let's take that one. And press fire. There we go. So we will have that one as a background on watch what the Argon are doing. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that will be very pathetic uh, uh, as, you, as usual the thing is uh, they just attack a ship one by one and get destroyed doing that so that I don't know, they, they are alive but uh, I wonder why because uh, they are doing a... security would like to remind okay. all visitors to keep their belongings with them at all times sure, I will do, don't worry now I will just move out from there, uh, just not to be too much annoyed with that. Let's go to the uh, yeah, right corner. Let's get there. Go there. Since we are in a defense station, we don't uh, we don't have uh, too much traffic uh, on the on the deck, so it that will be okay. Let's change the view once again. All we have there: the Asgard versus a uh, wall fleet of uh, Argons. Let's see what they do. Uh, for the Terrans and the Pioneers, well, I don't know what those guys are doing. I may have missed some quest lines uh, since uh, I feel those two those two civilizations are very useless in my game. So I went back to see every NPC I used to talk when uh, I was doing quests uh, for uh, for the Terrans and the Pioneers and uh, the, the, those NPCs don't talk to me so I don't know I feel those uh, those uh, civilization are pretty useless uh, I may have missed something I will see that uh, at some point I will uh, go uh, and check on the forums for the Zayak patriarchies well <sighs> vacations are coming <laughs> and in fact I will be in vacation at the end of this week so I expect to start my cleansing for uh, some of their sectors uh, sometimes ne next week. Uh, the plan is still the same. I will capture two sectors uh, for my own empire, the family Newt and family Zin. 
and uh, I will uh, try to liber liberate uh, Matrix 9 and Matrix uh, 451. You can see family is in and family nudes are there. They are mostly due to the fact they have uh, lots of resources in there. That will split the Zayak Patriarchy uh, territory in two. But I don't really care. Uh, we'll see what I will do with those two ones. Uh, if I set them to neutral, uh, I know that uh, the Paranids will capture them, so I may take them uh, just to be uh, on the safe side. Uh, on the two other one, Matrix 9, Matrix uh, 451, I want those to be owned by the, uh, the Xenons, so I will remove at least uh, the, back the um, defense station there and see if uh, the Xenons recover then I will clean up that, that light sector on those ones I don't expect to do anything safe uh, sending a bunch of uh, my fleets there to destroy all the Dyak, uh, Dyak fleets and the units that they have there I won't destroy much of their uh, defense, uh, defense stations I uh, want them to keep it that way for now, just to see if the, the Xenons are about to recover. If so, uh, I will have to, to check about the Cabal. Uh, once uh, they will have no more uh, Zayak fleets in the, in the sector, I hope that the Cabal will start doing something useful. Uh, I hope. If it's surplus, well, I think at some point uh, I will have to change uh, all those uh, orange color to something more greenish as I used to do uh, in my other games uh, it would be a shame but uh, I don't know the, the splits anyway are uh, pretty useless uh, I think uh, they, they do some trade but they, they, they had nothing there is no conflict within them so it's pretty useless for me and uh, that's it for the state of the empire. We are now switching to the terraforming uh, part of the, the game. Uh, I hope that by uh, next week the state of the empire will have uh, some change. For now, let's go back to terraforming. I'm now, I'm now ready to finish that uh, terraforming for my first planet. I'm still missing 5 million of population and I have to do the winter, winter spot resort so uh, during the, the week uh, I spent some time just with the computer uh, switched on to get everything I need for the next two, two quests so the application module it's a 5 million that's what I'm missing for the housing very few, uh, very few stuff to do. And, uh, whoops, I missed something. So what does be destroyed? Uh, I don't know. Small ship, I guess. At least his shield is going down very slowly. Oh no, there is a. They lost a, a destroyer. Okay. So my guess is, as usual, uh, <laughs> that will that will lead to a complete destruction for the the Argon Argon fleet. Uh, they uh, they are just useless, honestly. Uh, so back to terraforming. So I have the everything I need for the habitation modules and the next one is a ski resort winter winter spot resort sorry and uh, that's uh, a bit more in advanced electronics uh, nothing uh, in the uh, hill parts some microchips so during the week i managed to change my uh, contents here uh, so we have uh, everything we i need to start those uh, those two quests at the same time so let's do that start that one uh, 
8 only? Wow, that will be very fast. Okay. And the winter spot will be next. Okay, let's go and check that. Bear with me. There we go. Here's our eight medium drones. Let's see them uh, running. So guys, where are you? We have completed our current terraforming project. Nice. That's it. No video, nothing. No congr congratulation. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, so let's do the last one. It is what resort. I have everything I need. And there we go. 48, 22, 24. Okay, so in two minutes, we should have everything in flight. The materials will be sent down as soon as possible. Great. Just do that. In the meantime, well, I have nothing to do. I'm just waiting for everything to be sent to uh, the surface. Asgard. I know it's what's gone. Danger. I know. You have a few drones. Well, while the terraforming is running, they have to choose uh, which one I will do next. Uh, there is a lot of uh, different uh, terraforming missions uh, I could do. Uh, let's see all those. The Young World. Yeah, I'm very tempted by two of them, in fact. The Armwall one, uh, which will take place in the Scalped Green, that will reduce, uh, supposed to reduce pirate activity. I'm not sure it will do, but I don't know. And the next one uh, is Beyond Frontier. Yeah, yes, yeah, just do that. Uh, why I want to do both of them on that? I don't know which one I will do it first. That one, it's because it's the middle of the rest of the Teladi territories. So to be able to do it, I have to move my uh, HQ down there in Skelpet Green. Uh, why that one? Because that one is closer from, from the planet. I don't know if it changed a lot. I may move it there and it would be the same, I don't know. Uh, but if I want to keep the Xenons running, uh, if I move my HQ there, I don't know. Anyway, the, even the, the, the uh, Xenons here are doing nothing. So I don't know if I move my HQ there or there. Uh, it would be almost the same anyway. Uh, for the my units to be able to come there, they will have to go through that, that path. Uh, for the, the small ships they on the highway then exit the highway going through their their territory up to the gem gate so that means i will have to have some uh, um, defense fleet here just to secure the path uh, i may have to remove that station so just factory for that one i don't know uh, i will have to to see if uh, those stations are in the way or not and uh, if those stations will fire on the small ships that go uh, through the, the the highway so i'm very tempted doing that one on the next one 
uh, uh, where we uh, want to do it is uh, the the one here. It's a uh, beyond frontier. Yeah, beyond frontier. It's in one of the two sectors. Alisa, uh, Atia misfortune. Atia's misfortune. Uh, I think that one, the the planet is closer. So I may put my HU somewhere down there. On uh, on that sector, I have the same issue that I have in uh, Tarkas Cascade. Uh, I mean that there is a defense station for the Xenon somewhere, and I've been unable to find it. As for Tarka Cascade, I have the same issue. And uh, no, the uh, the Dayark, no, myself, I've been able to, to find that station. I don't know if it's Dayark, I already tried to. Hey guys! <laughs> I don't know why the uh, the scale of the the sector has unchanged. Not going far. So uh, yeah, that one is very interesting because it's flagged as uh, impossible, and uh, I'm interested to, to do something that's very challenging. Uh, for me, the, the the one I'm doing it's just way too easy. Uh, I was expecting for the those kind of quests to take me uh, weeks to to, 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 to to do it but in fact it maybe took me about 24 hours of game time to, to do all those quests I spent a lot of time doing uh, other things such as uh, rebuilding a complete hub in uh, Edward's twin uh, chasing pirates uh, with, with uh, uh, a corvette so I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that uh, it's so easy, uh, at least for me, to do that. Maybe if uh, you don't have a complete infrastructure with all kind of uh, productions, you may struggle to, to do that. But uh, for an industrialist like me, it's, that's nothing, honestly. Uh, even the amount are not that big. Uh, each time uh, I look at the amount, say, oh, okay, it would take a, a take a few hours no it take one or two hours to to, to get everything mostly because i'm using uh, medium traders i don't use a uh, large uh, large one uh, if i was using a large one i guess it would be uh, it would be slightly faster so well i don't know i don't know which one i will do uh, I may try first the Homeworld uh, quest just for the thrill of having to move my units in the middle of uh, on the enemy territory and to see how I could stretch my logistic to do that. I, I don't know what kind of materials do I need to, to, to do that. But uh, if I need uh, methane and uh, stuff like that, I don't see my um, my miners going around in those sectors uh, to to mine the stuff. So if that, I, I would have to to go in all those sectors and remove uh, those stations. But be, nah, I don't I don't want to do that. So I may have to to resort to uh, manual uh, mining for for methane uh, in, in those sectors. I don't even know if there is methane here. It used to have lots of resources in that sector, but uh, now I'm not sure. Anyway, I will see uh, how it uh, I will do. I think that one will be very interesting for the logistic and uh, security per perspective. And there we go. Our last drone is now in flight for the planet. We are almost done. Let's jump to the close of the planet. Where is my daughter? <laughs> Middle of the fleet. Let's teleport there. And I will wait 
in uh, full speed that the drones arrive to the planet side. Yeah, I did a, a complete scan on the perimeter of uh, Holy Vision, but I uh, haven't managed to find that uh, that station. Very annoying. There is now a kayak. Oh, the current terraforming project has completed. Yes. Let's see. Vesna, long known as that cold planet with the mountains, has become the number one holiday destination attracting visitors from all over known space. And with a wide range of activities and famously cozy hotels, this is looking to be more than a fad. Reservations are going fast, so be sure to make yours soon. I already did. Okay, that's it. Okay. Hmm. That's not much. Uh, nothing very interesting to see. Uh, communication, but I think. A family debrief. That's it for my uh, first terraforming project. That was easy to do, honestly. Very easy. Uh, at least for, for someone who has a, a complete uh, industrial infrastructure behind him. That's very easy to do. So, next episode, I will have to choose. Uh, where to go? Uh, Scalped Green or Atiyam uh, Misfortunes? I'm very tempted for by uh, Scalped Green. Uh, I will see. Uh, I will see that uh, at, uh, at that time. For uh, the rest, well, I think that's it for this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, smash that like button. It will cost you nothing, and it will help uh, tremendously. Uh, my uh, channel to be promoted uh, in YouTube and uh, if uh, you have comments on my gameplay uh, feel free to comment down below and ask, uh, ask questions if you have any until next time my friends